Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video today. In a very surprising move, they've announced the Dragalia Dragalia Remix. I want to say the last video I was talking about, I was like, hey, a lot of people are expecting Gala uh, Shell, but we should be having a remix pretty soon, and we're having a remix, mm, not days before the collab, but by the end of the month we should be having the Persona 5 collab, and man, they have added some interesting bait right before it. I think this might be a fantastic bait, so today's video I'm just going to go over the new units, talk about the banner in general, and my thoughts about it in general. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll thank you. And it helps me a whole bunch. That's basically it. All right, so let's start with should you summon for this? Well, no. <laughs> the reason I'm saying no is um, these units aren't limited, so that's something to keep in mind when we're going through it. That means you could randomly get them off of anything, and if you were truly, truly desperate for them, you could always use the Dream Ticket if you pay, but chances are they will show up in future banners and be in other ba They will be 100% in other banners. Um, and the Persona 5 characters, we have no idea if they will ever return, and if they do return, they'll probably come back for Part 2, and that makes it much harder. Um, to kind of guess when they would come back. So that's something to keep in mind is that, as a personal thing, collab units always take precedent in, in my eyes. Uh, but what exactly are they offering up as bait? So let us let me quickly run it down. It's Kimono Ellie. Kimono, 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 Kimono Luka, and this is the meanest. That's Galamim. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, so let's get into it. Let's start with, um, Kimono. Kimono? Kimono. Kimono. I know it's Kimono. I'm just joking. Please don't. Don't insult me in the comments. Eager to enjoy a quiet, reflective year in, Ellie dresses up in her fine- in the finest of traditional New Year's Kimonos from Hinamoto. But fate has other plans, and what follows is a whirlwind of altercations, accidents, and awkward. Okay. Uh, skill one, <laughs> Lady Non-Peril, grants flame attuned adventures in the team the New Year's Prayer effect. Continually tapping the screen while charging the skill will grant New Year's Prayers up to an additional two times to each adventurer. New Year's Prayer have three progressive more power power level? No. New Year's Prayers have- wait, no. New Year's Prayer has three progressively more powerful levels. Okay. I don't know why that sentence was taking me such a long ass time to get- Level 1 for 15 seconds increases strength by 15%. Level 2 uh, for 30 seconds increases strength by 25%. And level 3 for 60 seconds increases strength by 40% and reduces wind damage taken by 15%. If New Year's Prayer is granted while already active, it will be raised one level. Conversely, it will be lowered one level when the effect remain with the effect's remaining time is depleted. If the effect is at a level one when this time is depleted, it will instead be removed entirely. Lucky day, this is shareable. Uh, deals flame damage to the targeted nearby enemies, inflicts scorned, scorned, and lowers their scorned resistance by 10% for 30 seconds. The resistance reduction will not stack. HP on Revival 30%, increases the amount of HP an adventure revised with by 30%, benefits the whole team. Chain Co-op ability, Flame Combo equals Critical Rate 5. If the team member is attuned to Flame, increase their Critical Rate by 1% for every 10 hit combo. This effect can stack up to 20 times, but all stacks will be lost when the combo counter resets, benefits the whole team. And her abilities are a good tiding too, grants one of the following effects based on the level of the user's New Year's Prayer. Level 1 increases skill gauge fill rate by 7%. Level 2 increases skill gauge fill rate by 8%. Level 3 increases skill gauge fill rate by 10% and gradually fills Lucky Day's skill gauge automatically. Abilities that increase skill gauge fill rate will not affect this automatic increase. Okay. Uh, sleep resistance is 100% and skill prep 100%. Jesus, okay. Um, so, two things. Uh, now one thing, this, they need to, I don't know what the hell they're thinking giving people revival. I was kind of like into the idea when they released it with the Halloween units. Um, I forget which one has a revival thing, the zombie one. She has it, but it's just not 
it's not a good it's not a good thing this is a bad co-op ability there's no like two ways about it mainly because you don't want to be revived at any point um it, it's just not good and then even that it's only eight it's only 30 percent it's not like anything amazing um also there are plenty of missions where reviving is not allowed which effectively makes this co-op ability useless um, other than that, it's like the one- everything else seems pretty solidly built. I think she seems pretty solid. Um, her being the same class as Mim, which is the Lance? Or is it- no, Spear? Harpoon? Spear. She's a Spear unit. Um, kind of a bummer, but it doesn't actually matter because they're two completely different, um, co-op abilities and chain co-op abilities. Also, this chain co-op ability is great. It almost feels like they specifically gave her such a good chain co-op ability to offset the incredibly crappy main ability, but I digress. Um, seems like a pretty good support. Yeah, I was about to say she's 100% a support unit. Um, here's the fun thing. These kimonos have been in the game since I think the first Hinamoto event, and it's been so long waiting for them I just assumed they would never show up. Um, I thought they were going to show up the first time they first showed up. Um, but they did it. And then finally, two years later, right before freaking Persona 5, they decided to drop them. What a kick right to the nuts. Uh, next, we got Kimono Luka. Stick with me again in the new year. Um, Luka dons a kimono to enjoy the hit mode in New Year's to its fullest. Whether it's spinning tops, playing Kar Kar Karutika... Karuta? No, Kar Karutika is the a video game from the 80s, I think. Or Pounding Mochi. I'm all about pounding that mochi. He's all in on you... <laughs> My own dumbass joke got me. He's all in on year-end fun. It's gonna be so wild. Luke is roping in everyone to the of the holodrome. And then in his background art, it has a sister, it has not, and it has his boy Renzo. Alright, let's see. Splendid Spring. Deals wind damage to the surrounding enemies and dispels one buff from each of them. Continually tapping the screen during the attack will unleash additional blows uh, with up to a maximum of six. He is also an axe type. Thank god that this uh, Luka is also not a light unit, because I want to say up till this point every single Luka has been light. Uh, free to play Luka is light. Summer Luka is light. Gamma Luka is light, so it's actually kind of nice for them to finally give Luka a another win. Similar to my thing with Mim where I wish she was other colors but fire, so I could use her in multiple teams. Um, elemental teams, I mean. It's nice that they're doing it. That's always good. Uh, Splendid String, yeah, and this is shareable as well. Bright Equinox grants wind to tune adventurers in the team the New Year's Mochi effect. The New Year's Mochi effects are based on the number of Mochi Master stacks consumed. 1. For 20 seconds, gradually recovers their HP and reduces water damage taken by 3%. 2. For 30 seconds, gradually recovers their HP and reduces water damage taken by 5%. And 3. For 60 seconds, gradually recovers their HP and reduces water damage taken by 15%. The skill can only be used when the user has at least one Mochi Master stack and using it will consume all Mochi Master stacks New Year Mochi will not stack. Defense 15%. That's his co-op ability. His chain co-op ability is wind above 10 hits equals water resistance 10%. His ability is the pounder of mochi too. Oh god. Grants the user a unique force strike that reduces the strength of surrounding enemies by 2% for 10 seconds and will continue to attack as long as your finger touches the screen. In addition, every time the force strike or splendid spring skill hits enemies a total of 9 times, the user will be granted the mochi master effect. This force strike strength reduction effect can stack up to four times and Mochi Master can stack up to three times. Freeze resistance 100% and Force Strike attack. Whoa, Force Strike, Force Strike attack rate 20%. Oh yeah, for him specifically, because yeah. For a second there, I thought it was like a chain co-op ability. Imagine this has a chain co-op ability. Free freaking nuts. Um. Yeah, he seems pretty solid. Similar, he doesn't have the thing that Ellie has where I look at and go like, oh man, that's the one thing where it's obvious they gave him this kind of one bummer thing to offset all the other good stuff, but it just seems like they just made him straight up pretty solid from what I can see. I don't know how useful he would be in the Agito just because 
I'm not 100% ca- I, I'm maybe the worst person to ask for that because I present whatever the hell unit I want and I accept whatever the hell unit the other person is using. Um, but it seems like he'd be a pretty fun support unit to use around. But that's just me. Um, some guy's telling me how bad his luck is in Fake Grand Order. I can't, I can't respond to you, man. I'm playing Dragalia. And finally, because this is a Drag uh, Dragalia. This is a Gala Banner Remix. The Gala unit up on the block is, of course, Gala Mim. Gala Mim is, I don't need to, you know what? Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. I think I'm too close. Zo nope. I've zoomed in too much. Let me zoom out. <laughs> Let me quickly zoom out. There we go. Mim is, for all jokes aside, Mim is actually one of the strongest gal units. She used to be one of the weakest, probably was the weakest before the 2.0 uh, balance changes came out. Post balance change, she is easily one of the top ones. The same thing goes for Galaranzel, but no one talks about Galaranzel because he's Ranzel and he's not the giant, um, beautiful, luxurious um, dragon wife that is Mim. Um, if I didn't have Mim, and I was a huge fan of Mim, I would probably... Let me tell you this, as someone who is extremely biased, and I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm going to be very upfront with you because I'm not going to lie to you guys. If this was instead of Kimono Ellie, it was Kimono Mim, I wouldn't be talking to you guys about how, uh, how I'm skipping this. But I am skipping this. Um, mainly because I know they're always going to be on there, but my love for Mim is, is that if Mim was the front girl up on here, and she was not a fire spear, I would 100% be summoning, I would be going sparking for Mim. That's how much I love Mim. So no one I tell you specifically, that if you don't have Mim and you're a big fan of Mim, and you don't give a crap about Persona 5, go in for the girl. She's 100% worth it in my eyes. If you're like everyone else, and you're a big fan and you're waiting for Persona 5, you can wait on Mim. You have plenty of other strong fire units because fire is built like a fucking freight train. Then, you know, obviously this is very easy to skip. Um, and I really do think it's going to be skipped. Don't expect the summon video from this from me either. Um, because I already have Mim and I can wait for the other two pretty easily. And I love Persona 5. Um... But yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it in general. Is that I think actually these units seem pretty solid to me. Like, um, in terms of bait, the bait only works if it's excellent. Um, but they're not like Gallimars where they're so amazing that I have to drop everything I'm doing and risk it. You know what I mean? When Gallimars came out, that was the first Gala Dragon that was ever released. And I summoned Farm because I knew for a fact he was going to outlive every single unit that was on part two Fire Emblem Heroes. And I was right. <laughs> he is better than, he is still better um, than Peony, Krom, and um, Tiki, at least in my eyes. Um, though Tiki and Peony have um, aged very well and Krom was, didn't age well when he was released. So that's neither here nor there though. That's my thoughts on this banner, man. If you're summoning, good luck to your summoning. If you're not summoning, then I wish you the willpower to save because that's what I'm going to be doing. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Tell me what your thoughts are. If you want to complain about me saying kimono or kimono, I, I know it's kimono. I just get, I get confused because words. Words are hard. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.